Hello, it's Gia Tati back on Vinus Bulletin. I'm Hanyum from Hanoi. Now take a look at our top stories as Asia. President Nguyen Xuân Phúc arrives in Phnom Penh begins visit to Cambodia. Exhibition spotlights life and career of legendary Daryl Vong Linh Zap. Painting exhibition spreads positive energy. President Nguyen Xuân Phúc and his entourage arrived in Phnom Penh on December 21st local time, beginning his state visit to Cambodia at the invitation of King Norodom Sihamoni. It is Phúc's first official visit to Cambodia as the President of Vietnam, which aims to mark the 55th anniversary of the two countries' diplomatic relations. It is also the first visit of a foreign head of state to Cambodia since the beginning of this year. The visit is expected to strengthen the political trust between the two nations and deepen their multifaceted partnership in a more practical and effective manner. Additionally, it demonstrates Vietnam's support for major internal and external events hosted by Cambodia in the coming time, notably the National Assembly elections 2023 and Cambodia's ASEAN Chairmanship 2022. Following the welcoming ceremony, President Nguyen Xuân Phúc met with Cambodia King Norodom Sihamoni. At the meeting, the host spoke highly of President Phúc's visit saying it is a vivid illustration for Vietnam's respect for the close relations and mutual trust between the two nations. Meanwhile, President Phu congratulated the great achievements that the Cambodian people has achieved in the past time under the reign of King Norodom Sihamoni. Also in the morning, President Phu and his entourage paid a courtesy visit to Queen Mother Norodom Monine Sinhanouk. He laid rest of flowers at the Independence Monument, the monument dedicated to late King Norodom Sihanouk and the Vietnam-Cambodia Friendship Monument. In the morning, President Nguyen Xuân Phúc met with Cambodian Prime Minister Samdek Techo Hun Sen, during which both leaders informed each other on the socio-economic situation in each country. They expressed their delight at the comprehensive development of the bilateral ties in the past 55 years, stressing both nations have maintained delegation exchanges, high-level meetings, and promoted the efficiency of the bilateral cooperation mechanisms despite COVID-19. They held that trade and investment are the highlight in the bilateral ties, with two way trade reaching nearly eight billion US dollars during January October, up nearly ninety percent year on year, and Vietnamese investment in the neighboring country in increasing four point six times to some ninety million US dollars. Besides, they were consented to deepen collaboration across security, defense and economy, particularly transport connection, telecommunications, trade, investment, banking and finance and energy among others. Following the meeting, President Nguyen Xuân Phúc and Prime Minister Hun Sen witnessed the signing of seven cooperation documents between ministries and enterprises from both sides. Prime Minister Phạm Minh Ting on December 21st chairs the National Conference on Implementing Judiciary Work in 2022. At the meeting, Prime Minister asked the Ministry of Justice to instill the people's central approach in law building and enforcement in its personnel. The virtual conference brought together judicial officials from 64 cities and provinces nationwide to discuss the implementation of judicial plans next year. It also saw the presence of standing Deputy Prime Minister Phạm Minh Minh and Minister of Justice Lê Thanh Long. In his remarks, Ching spoke highly of the Ministry of Justice efforts in preventing corruption and building a clean and strong political system which contributes to heightening Vietnam's reputation in lawmaking. He asked the Ministry of Justice and its agencies to work harder in the face of people's growing need for better judicial environment and learn from practices to build a socialist democracy and socialist rule of law state. Members of the 15th National Assembly Standing Committee continued to sit for the sixth session on December 21st. At the meeting, the National Assembly Standing Committee considers amending its resolution on a number of spending regimes to ensure the operation of the National Assembly. The National Assembly's report on ombudsman work in November, the committee's work program in 2022. 
In addition, members of the committee gave opinions on a draft resolution on the pilot application of special mechanisms and policies for the development of Gunther City and a draft resolution on fiscal and monetary mechanisms and policies to support the implementation of the socio-economic recovery and development program. On December 22, they will evaluate the implementation of the Committee's Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation Program in 2021, consider and approve the program for 2022, and give opinions on programs on foreign affairs and international cooperation of the National Assembly Ethnic Council. Various activities have been held to commemorate the 110th birthday of General Vong Nguyen Zap. Join us to take a look. As many as 110 poems and writings on display at the following General Zap's footsteps exhibition were written by teacher, poet, and journalist Nguyen Thị Mỹ Dung, who had a lot of writings about General Zap in the past two decades. The exhibition is arranged into three themes, the mean for victory, the general in the hearts of Vietnamese people, and bright for thousands of years. The unique feature of the exhibition is the combination between poems and photos. The exhibition takes place on the occasion of my father's 110th birthday and the 77th anniversary of the Vietnam People's Army. I chose a lot of photos featuring the Admin Phu victory taken by the Vietnamese agency's reporters. The Admin Phu battle was illustrated through 41 poems. The exhibition aims to pay tribute to General Zap, the eldest brother of the Vietnam People's Army, and a great military strategist in the world. It will be organized in many localities across the nation in the time to come. Vietnam's stream export earnings will hit around 3.9 billion US dollars this year, up 4% from 2020, according to the Vietnam Association of Seafood Exporters and Producers. Vietnam exported over 367 million US dollars worth of stream products in November, bringing the total export revenue in the first 11 months of the year to more than 3.5 billion US dollars a year-on-year -year increase of 3.4%. Strongest growth was seen in exports to the US, EU and Australia, while some other markets experienced stagnancy or slight decreases. The US remained Vietnam's largest importer, purchasing 28% of total exports during the period. It was followed by Japan with 15%. Stream exports to the EU has swiftly bounced back since October, with Vietnam being a major supplier to Germany, the Netherlands and Belgium. The association forecasts that demand from major markets like the US, EU, Australia, Canada and the Republic of Korea will be likely on the rise and the US continues to be the main driver of growth. Three art packages will be carried out in 2022 to help promote digital transformation in Vietnamese enterprises, according to the Ministry of Planning and Investment. The support is part of a program assisting businesses in digital transformation in the 2021 to 2025 period, which was approved by Minister of Planning and Investment early this year. Of the three packages to be launched, the first is designed for small-scale firms, helping them embark on digital transformation. Each enterprise will be provided with $870 to nearly $2,200 from the state budget per year. The second one will assist medium-sized ones with a maximum of around $4,200 per year. Meanwhile, the third target exporters will cover a maximum of 50% of the cost to open and maintain their accounts on transnational e-commerce platforms. According to the Enterprise Development Agency under the Ministry, despite many barriers and difficulties in digital transformation, Vietnamese businesses are holding numerous opportunities to boost their work. The chances come from changes in consumption behavior, the shift in global supply chains, and the surge in online transactions.
collector Thuy Anh has introduced a collection of paintings at an exhibition held recently in Hanoi. Her collection encourages a spirit of optimism and a love of beauty and creates new hope and aspirations in life. Most of the 38 paintings on display were collected by Thuy Anh during the COVID-19 pandemic. In this most difficult and challenging period, painters had more time to spend on their art, revealing an admiration for artists' creativity. Thuy Anh hopes to spread the positive value of works of art among the public. People have had to face a lot of difficulties and losses in recent times due to the pandemic. The atmosphere has indeed been gloomy. Choosing the beauty of pink streets and spring flowers, I want to spread a spirit of optimism, a love of beauty, and open up new hope and aspirations in life. Painter Dao Hải Phong has three paintings on show at this vision. It's quite a new concept in Vietnam, he said, for a collector to introduce their collection at an exhibition. I've participated in exhibitions like this in foreign countries where collectors introduced the works of their favorite artist to the public. It's a very beautiful element of culture. In this time of pandemic, Tuyang's collection brings together generations of artists and creates a positive effect on society. Collector Thuy Anh has taken part in many charitable activities and programs, contributing to joint efforts to fight COVID-19. And that is all for this hour. Thank you for tuning in and see you next time.